don't leave. Don't leave until you watch this because you guys. Okay. My loves, hello. We're back with a little bit of a different video, but oh, you need to stay and watch this because 99.999% of people, and I would venture a guess and say 100% of the people that have stumbled upon this video and are watching it right now are coffee drinkers. And not only are you, you, me, speak for myself, coffee drinkers, we are coffee snobs nowadays. Casa Brews sent over this machine, and before I get into it, I know most people that are here are either busy moms, working professionals, or people that just need a jump start and a boost in the morning. There is no better way to do it than with a delicious Italian, authentic, genuine espresso. So here's what I think about it. Stay until the end because Adam and I had some difficulties setting this up. We made it a lot more difficult than it needed to be. So just stick around. I'll talk you through it. I'll show you how this works. This is pretty amazing. So Casa Brews, although they're on the newer side, they have had some serious success with their espresso machines. They have different models. The one they sent over to me is like the Lamborghini. It's the 5700 Gens. I think it's pronounced guys. <laughs> We know, <laughs> but it's G-E-N-S-E. This model in particular is a stunning brushed steel design. The whole entire body of this machine is made out of stainless steel. So it's durable, it's aesthetic. I don't know, I feel like a barista. Like I'm ready to start spelling names wrong and giving out cups because that's how much fun I've been having with this machine. Not only does it do espresso, it also has a pump here to froth the milk. So you can make lattes and cappuccinos and Americanos and Adam and I have just been going nuts and living our coffee kid dreams. What I loved the most about this machine when I first took it out of the box, it's right up there. It has the same quality as the higher end machines like the Breville for a fraction of the price. Let me talk through how to set this up and how to use it. The machine itself comes basically set up. It took Adam and I way longer to set up the machine than it really should have. The main thing that was the issue was this grinder piece. They actually send you an extra one. The one that's there is on the machine. It's set up. It's right Ready to go. Really, you only have a couple of things that you have to assemble yourself. It's just this little piece right here, and then everything else is pretty much done for you. You have to put on the little grinder bit, but other than that, don't overthink it. That's what we did. We were watching videos, looking for tutorials, trying to figure out why it wasn't in the instructions. It wasn't there because this is just an extra piece. So just know there is your grinder, and like what company sends you a backup for free? That's amazing. This one, there are instructions on how to take it off, so we were taking it off. Off, looking at it, trying to figure out what was the difference between the two. There's no difference. So aside from that, it was super simple to set up. I honestly could have done it myself if I didn't have a one-year-old trying to like rip apart the packaging, taking apart the pieces, putting things in his mouth. But otherwise, it's easy to move. It's lightweight. You could do it yourself. I promise. What's cool about this machine is you could grind your own beans and have them fresh in the moment, or you can skip that part and you can use already ground beans and just skip the grinding step. Here's how you start. You take your coffee. The beans that the company suggests and after my own heart is Lavazza brand. I have some coming on Amazon. They're not going to be here for a little bit. I don't know why I used one that wasn't prime. I could not find whole beans at my grocery store, but Lavazza is honestly the way to go. If not, any beans will do. We just ran to the store because we set this up and we're like little kids in a candy store. You just pour your beans, whatever you want to use, in the top of the machine. Now, you don't have to measure it. This machine is so advanced that it does the measurement for you and it stops when it grinds the amount that you need for either your single or your double shot of espresso. So don't worry, just pour them in. And then what you're gonna do, you are going to take this piece, there is a name for it that I have no idea what it is. It comes with two inserts that look like this. The smaller one is for a single shot. The larger one, which we have in here because we're like go big or go home with our coffee. So we just keep the double shot in there. You decide what you wanna use based on your preferences. If you just want a single shot that day or if you need rocket fuel to get you through the day. If it's a tough day, if you're a new mom, if your baby was up all night like mine was last night, you might want to go for the double shot. You're going to turn on your machine one touch of the button. When these buttons stop blinking, 
is when you know that it's ready to go. What is amazing about this machine specifically, the Casa Brews, is it takes about 20 to, I would say, maybe 90 seconds to warm up. The other higher end machines that are very similar, but a lot more expensive, take about 15 minutes to warm up. A minute and a half, totally doable to wait in the morning when you're ready to go, which is much better than 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, so then I'm gonna just insert this piece. I already put in my little piece for the single or the double. We're going with the double. We're just sticking it in there. When you're ready, you just push it in and it's going to start grinding those beans for you. Since we have the double shot in here, there's no difference for the double shot on the grinder side. So I'm just gonna push this a second time and get a double shot amount in my grinder. Push it back in one more time so it grinds you a second set. Don't worry if it looks like it's overflowing. You have this piece that it comes with. This is the distributor. So you're putting this on the top just to evenly distribute your coffee grinds in there. Can you guys see? This is so fun. I feel like a true barista. It comes with this little padding. This just fits right into the edge of my counter. All it's doing is pressing down so that it'll create pressure when you make your espresso. That goes right back there so you don't make a mess. You can keep it there. We push it back because we have a toddler that likes to grab everything. Here's the fun part. Put this in here and you're just gonna twist to lock it. Put your cup underneath there. I don't have fancy espresso cups yet, but Lord knows when I get my house, we will get there. My sister-in-law has the cutest little collection of espresso cups, oh my God, when I have my house, because I can't add anything else to this little condo. Now you have the option, you can push single or you can push double. Really quick, you want to watch the pressure. You want the pressure gauge to be within this little bluish, greenish, teal line. It's an open book test because it says espresso right in there. So the first few times we made our espresso, it was barely raising. So I looked up why. The reason you need pressure is for the grinds to kind of sit there, make their way through slowly. If there's too much pressure, you can cause an accident. You can ruin your machine, you could get hurt. So you just wanna keep your eye on that gauge. It could either be one of two things if you're not getting enough pressure. The first thing is there's just not enough coffee grinds in this little piece. I can't remember what it's called. The second thing is you didn't pack them down enough with this little piece. And the third thing is this little dial is set too high. You have to play with it. We went too high and we moved it somewhere between three and five and then Adam really pushed it down and grinded it really hard in there. All of a sudden the pressure just starts going and going. It starts going past the blue into the gray, I grabbed the baby and I ran out of the kitchen because the Italian girl is scared of stories of Italian grandmas whose kitchen blew up from the espresso pot creating too much pressure on the stove. Is that gonna happen? No, this is a cheat sheet for you. So just watch your line. He just quickly shut off the machine, totally stopped it. I said, why don't we just unplug it to reset the machine? I don't even think you have to, but just a note, that was long winded. All we're gonna do is we are gonna press the double cup because we wanted a double shot. We have enough grinds in there for a double and I'm just gonna watch the pressure and make sure it's high enough. That sound is totally normal. And there is our beautiful, gorgeous, rich cup of espresso. You could stop here, but I'm more of a latte, cappuccino, Americano girl. I like my milk in there to cut it. The next step, this machine comes with this frother. There's a little dial here on the side. It's off right now, but it has an option to preheat, and then you can turn it on to different levels, minimum, maximum, etc. So we're just gonna let that warm up. I forgot to show you guys this before. This came with the machine. This is a measuring spoon, and then this is is your milk frothing cup. You're gonna take your milk of choice. Today I have some almond milk and you're going to pour it into your cup. This has measurements, four ounces, six ounces, eight ounces, or 10 ounces, depending on how much milk you want, depending on what you're doing. Do you want a cappuccino or do you want an Americano or a latte? Those are gonna take different measurements of milk. I'm gonna do a video for you guys all about different recipes that I do with my coffee and also espresso flavored or coffee flavored food. So I'm just pouring this in here while the machine warms up. I like a decent amount of milk. Okay, so now the fun part, or at least it's the fun part for me because I love me a good frothy milk situation. So we have it on preheat, it's good to go. Then you're gonna turn the knob to where you want it. You could go from the preheat, it starts low, and you can go max, go bigger, go home over here. So we're gonna turn this up. It's gonna start sounding like a jet plane when it's ready. And you're just gonna put that little nozzle in the milk. The way that you know that it's ready is when this starts becoming too hot for you to hold. 
Look at that delicious frothed milk. This is where you start playing with your latte art. the boat on my latte art and top mine with a little cinnamon I've got one for Adam here too I'm really not fancy because I don't have a spoon so we're just borrowing my baby's little baby spoon it's the same size anyway and there you have it your perfect cappuccino espresso coffee whatever drink of your choice in literally five minutes mm. Oh my God, that's heavenly. The way that you clean this, you're just gonna take a damp cloth and clean this little wand right here. One thing that you have to note, never wanna get this wet. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a slightly damp cloth, not wet, my friend, because you don't wanna clog that grinder and you're just going to rinse that out really quick. And then you're gonna take a dry one, you're gonna dry that off really quick and you're done. But it's not gonna get dirty, it just has coffee grinds in there. In fact, I think it's gonna smell really good. If you're interested, I will leave all of the information down below. Tell me if you're a coffee lover, what is your favorite? type of coffee drink i hear my little man woke up below my memory card was full my recording stopped and my little man woke up from his nap and i didn't want to leave you hanging everything that you need to know links discount codes will be in the description box below this machine it's like the lamborghini but for the price of for the price of what for the price of a toyota what do you think enjoy my coffee lovers my new moms like me working professionals anybody that is addicted to caffeine you want the taste and the flavor and the versatility and fun of a coffee shop in your own home under five minutes let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want me to do recipes i think i'm going to especially with like pumpkin spice season coming up subscribe if you want to be part of the family we love you guys a latte hey it's mommy corny see you in the next one